This program is called Museum Makers Designing with Data. And we have families come in with anywhere between two and four kids and they work together to collect data on our exhibits here and then they're using that data to really decide what exhibits that they think belong here as well. And then in the end, in our culminating workshop, they design their own workshop together and we have a showcase for them to show off what they designed. This is the first program that I've seen like this where families get to come together and really spend that quality time together. And this is time for them to really spend time not worrying about schoolwork with their kids. Um, and a lot of these families come here every day after school and they're not really getting that one-on-one -on -one time with the exhibits. In this program, they're able to really look and dive deeper on each of, each of the exhibits and collect the data that is um, more meaningful to them and meaningful to them as a family. And then they're making decisions together that they don't get to make anywhere else. And I think just having that time to spend together is what makes it a really good program. I love the hands-on. I love little perks like giving the kids their own measure tape, their own timers. That goes a long way, especially when kids are giving something a tool, a scientific tool. There's a hall of mirrors upstairs, and then there's lots of mirrors to protect you. So when you look at it, I got the idea of making this. I think this program is a little bit challenge for kids somehow in the beginning, but the surprising thing is that I think kids can achieve it, and they have their way kind of creativity, part of the way that they express and they try to make whatever you give them the task. They only had two days to work, so today's one and the last and last time was another day. Before we started making this. Yes, we made a little toy first and made a real project. The value of the workshop as a whole is that it teaches children to think of the big picture. So for example, the data itself doesn't mean anything unless they sort it out and interpret. And I also think that it shows them that the data put together of all the children that are participating here, once they sort it out and they interpret it, it creates some patterns or trends in comparison to their data on their own. And the ultimate goal is for them to actually create an exhibit that they think is missing here at NYSAI. So they use all the information that they were able to learn during these seven weeks to, for example, decide what size they want their exhibit to be, how long people should be at their exhibit, and what features these exhibits should have.